My name is Sina Khan. I'm living in Ireland since 2015, and I'm a professional artist, and uh, I'm uh, working since 2015 till now as a practicing artist, participated in different group shows and solo shows, and uh, I'm preparing other solo shows uh, for the next few years. Today, I'm talk about my mother and my grandmother. These are two ladies influenced my life throughout my life. I, I'm very attached to my grandmother. She's migrated from India. I know India through the eyes of my grandmother. And my mother, uh, she born in Pakistan. And uh, I have a very intimate relationship with my mother as every child do. She, uh, all the time, she is preparing new clothes for me. She stitch and she is very happy. Instead of buying the clothes, she's uh, stitching my clothes. And uh, she is trying to like, make me a perfect human being and she is always trying to tell me what is what uh, are, are the rules I have to follow and uh, being a girl what is my responsibility being a woman my mother teaches me by herself she always teach me maths chemistry physics and e even she taught me drawing as well she was the brilliant one she always got highest marks and uh, like she feel uh, she feel bad like uh, she really want to do work but she's not allowed to do and that's how like uh, my husband cannot stop me to do anything like I want to do so I want to do it is a male dominating society so I'm like I feel like it is the issue I need to highlight so I did it in my during my thesis time in 2003. I did it on uh, the social issues like how men divided prostitutes and the socially accepted women like in Pakistan or in Asia they are divided the women like this society is not good this society is good talk to these girls don't talk to these girls so I don't like this discrimination. She built in me uh, like I can uh, I will be very strong no matter what are the circumstances and so um, I am working and all the time I am uh, calling her and I am taking her advice. It is uh, like, uh, it is painful right now. Like she is, mo uh, she cannot move now. She has some disability. Uh, she got some arthritis problem and she is now in wheelchair. So it is quite disturbing. And my painting described that as well, like how my mother is using the <clears throat> sewing machine and now it's converting to the wheel of the uh, wheels of the wheelchair. So it is quite uh, painful and it is very disturbing because I really find my mother, uh, she was really, really strong woman. And uh, like now it is very uh, dreadful to see her in a wheelchair. Uh, you know, as a human being, I felt like uh, transformation is part of our body. And we, we saw our parents, how they grow up uh, their children and, down, and then they transform into different species. And, uh, and this is quite uh, uh, disturbing uh, as a human being, as an artist as well. And I am trying to uh, portray some uh, transformation of body and forms like uh, how the older people uh, can uh, go through with these things. As an artist, I always trying to reflect the situation which is really touching my heart. So I'm really connected to my mother. So I'm trying to compile some paintings, some images uh, like uh, about her transformation. Like uh, I'm trying to uh, portray these things and I'm trying to make some new paintings on that as well. So this is my upcoming projects. My subject is always uh, relevant to the social issues, but this is quite difficult because it is very intimate and uh, it is a relationship of mother and child. And uh, I really uh, feel sometimes very sad about my mother. So like uh, I'm thinking, researching and developing some ideas about uh, the transformation. So hopefully you will see soon. <laughs>